This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. And welcome back. November is National Healthy Skin and Awareness Month. And one way to keep your skin refreshed is with sugar scrubs. And the best part is they're really easy to make. So this morning we have Ashley Thompson from Rejuvenate Massage Therapy here this morning to show us a do-it-yourself sugar scrub. How are you doing? I'm good. Great. So first of all, what are the benefits of a sugar scrub? What does it actually do for your skin? Um, well, it does quite a few things. It obviously helps exfoliate. Mm -hmm. Um, so if you have dry skin or dry, itchy skin, it'll mm -hmm. help get rid of those dead skin cells. Um, on the face especially, it helps prevent acne by clearing out the pores. Um, it also stimulates blood circulation, which actually increases your production of collagen, so it can help prevent wrinkles. Wow. So. so my next question is, you had mentioned that it's really good for your skin. Now, can you use it all over your body, or is it just for your face? Are there different types of sugar scrubs for different parts of the body, or is it all in one? Um, you can use it all over the body. I would focus on, um, well, the, the um, sugar or salt or whatever you use as mm -hmm. the exfoliating part would kind of determine if you use it on your face or not. Okay. You don't want it to be rough. All right. So it's pretty simple to make. Um, when, you, when it comes to the sugar, do you use regular sugar? Can you use brown sugar? Does it matter? You also said salt. You can use salt You too? can use salt. Salt has natural um, antibacterial properties. Oh, okay. So salt's good. Okay. Um, I have regular sugar right now, but I usually use a mixture of that and brown sugar. Okay. So kind of just walk us through the steps. What do we need if we want to make a sugar scrub at home? Um, Obviously sugar. Really all you need <laughs> is sugar and some kind of oil. Mm -hmm. um, I've got a little bit of extra. I've got some essential oils so that you can, you can use them to scent mm -hmm. or you can use it to... I was going to say, um, I can smell it. So you can yeah. obviously do this however you like. So if you yeah. find a recipe with a different... I know that a lot of people like coconut oil. So that you I have some of that? Oh, perfect. <laughs> so kind of just help me make some sugar scrubs. Okay. All right. So what do we do? <laughs> um, I've got here, I've got about probably three-fourths cup of sugar. Okay. But it really... The whole thing is just however you like it. Okay, so it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter okay. how much you use. Okay. Um, and then I usually put coconut oil in it just because it helps with the moisturization. Mm -hmm. um, and coconut oil, if it wasn't so cold outside, would already be melted. Right. <laughs> so obviously, you want? do you want this at room temperature or do you want to melt it? Coconut oil, um... Does it it kind of, it doesn't really matter. Okay. You can mush it in there, but, okay. um, but you can melt it. All right, so you kind of mix that in, and then you said that you brought other oils for scent purposes, or do they have other purposes as well? Yeah, well, I brought some that have both, actually. Okay. Um, so you can use, I brought lavender. To I was going to say, with. a lot of people like the lavender Lavender scent. is relaxing, mm -hmm. and if you're, like, if you take showers before, um, before you go to bed or mm -hmm. whatever, it can help you sleep at night and stuff. Okay. Um, and you really only need a couple drops. Okay. Now when it comes to like fruit, like I hear people like peach sugar scrubs or like strawberry something, would you actually use the real fruit or would you buy something that has that scent in it to put in it? Does it matter? I would get either extract or something just that has the scent, but okay. unless you're going to use it right away. Okay. Because I know people can use, they use like puree, so you can mm -hmm. put baby food basically okay um you can use that for like a face mask too you right. could and then that. um while you're still doing that how long does something like this last because obviously this is a big batch you're not going to use it all in one yeah. in one sitting so how long does this usually last before it kind of goes bad if it goes bad if you don't put anything but sugar and oils which all of this is sugar and oils mm -hmm. it won't go bad until your oil goes rancid okay which um it just depends on what you're using. Grapeseed oil doesn't have a super long shelf life, but it'll still last a year. Mm -hmm. um, I'm using jojoba oil, which has the longest, I think it lasts something around seven or oh, eight wow. years. This smells so delicious. So once you just finally just kind of mix it in until you get a consistency of a sugar scrub, and then that's when you put it on your skin, whether it's your hands, your face, and then you wash it off afterwards, right? Mm -hmm. So really quickly, you have some services as well um, available at Rejuvenate, and you actually have an open house where people can try free sugar scrub samples, correct? I will, yes. We're going to have all of our Christmas specials happening, um, and we're going to have Hope Ann from um, Cottage Grove Tea. She's going to have tea samples, and we'll have sugar scrub samples, and 
and Perfect. free nail polish. Perfect. So what we'll do is I'll finish mixing this and then we'll go ahead and post the easy and simple recipe on our website at heartlandconnection.com and we'll also link up your information as well. Thank you so much Ashley awesome. for coming Thank on. You. I appreciate it. And we'll be right back.